Yo guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. Uh, this is just a quick update video. Um, so, yeah, basically I got scammed uh, one year ago by a big trader called Gary. And today, that whole thing basically came too late. Uh, I saw a tweet about Gary and how he was trading for... Or how he was buying scammed items from people. Or from scammers. And, uh, yeah, I remembered that I got scammed by him basically a year ago now. Uh, so I sent him a trade for a knife of him. We talked a bit about the trade and stuff and came to like a decision and Yeah, I sent him the trade, but I was kind of stupid at that point and didn't double check the trade and sent The trade without his items in the trade uh, He just accepted the trade and ran off just said nope You should have been more careful. Uh, it's your fault I'm taking that money and you have to keep in mind, he has a over 200k inventory right now, and I think 100k back then. So there was like no real reason for him to keep $300 from a guy like me. Like, it didn't really make sense. But yeah, uh, at the end, he ran off. I didn't really have any chance of getting the items back because I didn't have any reach, anybody to talk to. So I just, yeah, forgot about it. Tried to forget about it because I, like, Always remembering that you lost $300 isn't that nice. So yeah, but um, like I said today, there uh, I saw a post about... No, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday I saw a post about um, him buying scammed items. And yeah, I, I just said, well, if people are already investigating him, why not release my story? So I contacted Civil because he's probably the most trusted trader right now or like I'm trusting him, him the most but yeah uh, I contacted him uh, told him my story sent him some screenshots some some evidence and he was quite shocked and contacted another guy that talked to me a little bit and yeah basically he made the whole thing public thanks a lot again I, I really appreciate it without that help I would have never seen those items again but yeah um, basically he made it public more people noticed that and basically hopped onto the train and a pretty big shitstorm uh, was created around Gary. So yeah, uh, he contacted me, apologized and gave me back not the same items, but almost the same items, even a bit more. I really appreciate that. But yeah, um, that's basically what happened. Uh, if you want to know the exact details, make sure you check out my Twitter. Uh, basically everything is kind of linked there. Uh, just click through all of it and read through it if you want to know the exact detail. I can just say that I'm happy that I got it back. I'll pro I would, he probably wouldn't have given back without the big people telling him that that was wrong. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, share with you my story. So if you get scammed by, by somebody who has good rep, try to contact somebody and uh, talk with, with them about it. There's always a chance that you can get your items back. It's, it's very unlikely. I'm very lucky that I got my items back, but... Just contact people, at least get him banned or something like that. But yeah, that's my story. Um, I can't say mu much about Gary. I, I, I can just say that I'm not trusting him at all anymore. I trusted him before this whole thing happened because he was a pretty big trader too. He looked fine to me, but his recent actions and basically that trade back then, yeah, made me realize that he is not a good person at least in my eyes uh you can think differently if you still like him if you traded with him and he's fine to you that's completely fine i'm just saying what he did to me and uh how other people think about him so yeah uh hope you guys enjoyed it, it was a very short video like i said just an info video to let you guys know what happened uh yeah see you guys in the next one goodbye